Hello and welcome back to another video guys. That's right, it's time for a movie review and this is the first movie review that isn't a new movie. That's right, I'm going to be reviewing older films now on this channel as well just because I figured what's the point in just reviewing new films because even though we're getting Wonder Woman 1984 soon and we're getting Soul, 2021 is still looking like there's going to be a lot of dead patches because of, you know, our old friend the coronavirus, which is still going about. Um, so I thought, you know what, I, I can't just keep waiting for new releases. Let's go back and do some older ones. There are a lot of older films that I want to come on here and talk about in, you know, some detail. I won't go into great detail on all of them, but um, yeah, I just figured, why not? Let's, 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 let's talk about some older films. Um, so today we're going back a bit. And why are we going back? We're going back because Wonder Woman 1984 has... Um, it's been released in cinemas. Some people have seen it. Unfortunately, I'm in a tier four zone. I'm not going to be able to see it in cinema, but I will see it around 25th through the 28th, probably around Christmas time. I will make sure I watch it because I'm not waiting until mid-January. Um, so I, I want to try and review all the DC films before then. Um, I can't promise I'll get them all done. Now, I've already done Suicide Squad and Justice League on my bad movie reviews because I think those movies suck. I think I'm right. I think they do suck. Um, so those two are done. So today, of course, we're going back to 2013. We're going to review the first one. We're going to review Man of Steel. Then we're going to do Batman v Superman. And then Wonder Woman. I'll 100% get those. Well, I'm doing one now. I'll 100% get Batman v Superman and Wonder Woman done before I review Wonder Woman 1984. I'm not sure I'll get Aquaman and Shazam and Birds of Prey all in before. But if not, I'm going to do those ones straight after. I'm going to try and do all the DCU ones before the New Year's. So I'll say that. Um, so, let's say, first up, we are talking about Man of Steel today from 2013. Um, this was directed by Zack Snyder and stars Henry Cavill, Amy Adams and Michael Shannon. It's, this film here had the makings of a brilliant movie. Um, I'm not the biggest Zack Snyder fan. I'm not going to lie. Um, I've seen a few of his films before this. Um, you know, I'd seen 300, I'd seen Watchmen, I'd seen Sucker Punch. And yeah, you know, he's he's a good he's fantastic at cinematography. This guy's this guy's films look incredible. I love the look of them. Um they're they're stunning and in 4K especially I've got to say, they they look beyond brilliant. They they look fantastic. This guy's directing style isn't for everyone. I don't think it's for me. Um but this is my favourite Zack Snyder film, I think. Uh I, I have a real soft spot for this movie. And don't get me wrong, you'll you'll learn you'll come to know when we talk about Batman v Superman that I have a lot of problems with Zack Snyder. But with this one, I think he knew he was involved with a really special project. This was the beginning of something which would turn into, or we hoped would turn into a fantastic universe. I think it's getting there. Um, but at the minute it's not quite there yet. But anyway. It, 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 he really brought his A-game with this movie. And this film has some real pacing issues. I think this film suffers from being a tad too long. But it has a lot of heart, this film, I think. The, the character development between, of course, um, Clark and Lois, I think is fantastic. Um, and I, I, I've got to say the Krypton stuff at the start of this movie, I think, is also fantastic. I really do think it's great. The plot for this film... You know, it follows a similar structure structure to um, how most Superman plots start in the comics and, of course, the previous movies. Um, you know, you, you don't have um, Lex Luthor in this one, um, but this one, like the original film, but like with the original Superman movies in the second part, Zod sort of comes back. And it sort of plays off that storyline a bit where Zod wants to replace Earth with Krypton. He wants to rebuild Krypton on Earth. And, of course, it means... All of the human race will. And Superman's not about that. He's the good guy. He's like, no, this is their planet. We, we, we're going to leave them to it. So that's that's more or less the plot of this movie. Uh, and as I say, the film suffers from being too long. And it has some pacing issues. It throws you about a bit. Um, some of the time jumping at the beginning. It's it's not all needed. But it's it, this is a decent movie. It really is. Um in terms of acting, I think Henry Cavill is a fantastic actor. You know, we've come to know him really well the last few years. He's done some great films like The Man From U.N.C.L.E., um, The Witcher um, TV show, um, Enola Holmes. You know, he's he's done he's had some really good performance recent years where I think people have come to go, he's, no, he's really good. Mission Impossible Fallout as well. Got to mention that one. Um, and, of course, we know Amy Adams is fantastic. Same with Michael Shannon. 
um, but they all sort of come into their own here. Um, the film feels a bit stale at times, I think. But um, it, it, it's weird, the film sort of flips itself around a lot, where it gets stale, then things will pick up and get a bit more interesting. Um, the CGI for this film looks great, this is a beautiful looking movie. Um, the, a lot of issues that people have with this movie, of course, are at the end of the film, where Metropolis gets destroyed by Superman and Zod fighting, and I can completely see why people are not happy with that. Superman doesn't try to take the fight anywhere else half the time, I know he gets thrown into space once or twice, but... They always seem to end up back in the city, and Superman just throws Zod into buildings, and it's like... Yeah, and it, it, the explosions are so over the top, like, the whole building ends up collapsing, it's like... People definitely died in that. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, at the end, Zod's got his laser beam eyes at this one family, and he's like, no, no, and it's like, to be fair, man, you've probably just killed, like, 20 families in the last couple of buildings you blew up. <laughs> So I, I I find the ending a bit um, hypocritical almost. So there's that, but you know it's it's an interesting movie. I I I kind of like the way it, it, this movie feels. It it just it just it feels like a confused movie. I think that's a good way to describe it. It's very confused. It's half the time it's really slow and it wants to be dark and gritty, and it you know it. Yeah, it wants to be edgy almost, and then at other times it's like a flat out superhero movie with a bit more fun and energy to it. Um, I I really like Zod in this movie as well. I want to say I think uh, Michael Shannon done a great job. But I think you know we got a really good villain here, and um, but I think Superman needs a bit of work in this. It's not Henry Cavill's fault. I I think it's to do with the way he's written, but we get there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got to say about Man of Steel. To be honest, it's it's not a film I have loads to say on. I think it gets a bit of a bad rap because it's a part of that Zack Snyder um, double part film, you know, this and Batman v Superman, which we all know, Batman v Superman. Not the greatest movie, is it? Um, so, <laughs> I think this one sort of gets a bad rap because of the one that followed it. I think people had really high expectations for this movie as well, and of course it wasn't that, because uh, they plastered Christopher Nolan's name all over it because he just finished on the Dark Knight films. But... It's a decent film. I, I I think it's I think it's a, it's a good time. I wouldn't go shouting about it. I'm I'm gonna give this film a six and a half out of ten. Um, but there we go. There that's my review of Man of Steel. Um, we'll be back to do Batman v Superman either tomorrow or the day after. Uh, we'll try and get that one done soon. I want to get that one and Wonder Woman done before Christmas, so I can I can say the Batman v Superman and Wonder Woman reviews will not be far off. Um, but anyway, that is it for this video, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of Man of Steel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message, and I'll see you all next time for another video. Bye-bye.